Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina. Jigger, 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 jigger. Jigger, 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 Take a shot every time Jackie Ina does a video wearing this Ivy Park hoodie. Today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a full face using Muslim owned beauty brands slash halal beauty brands. I was actually re-inspired by Chloe Morello. She used to do like Eid makeup tutorials every year and it was like this thing to like celebrate the end of Ramadan. I struggled a lot putting this video together and doing research on these brands. There's not a ton of brands that are owned or founded by Muslim owners that are like mainstream, available to all of you guys, mind you. I'm Christian and even though I'm not Muslim, I just feel like it's so important to be an ally to people regardless of where they come from or what their, what their religion is or what they believe in. I used to live in Kuwait, so I have a little bit of a soft spot for my Muslimas out there. Oh, I be loving y'all be serving me looks on the ground. With that being said, because I really did struggle finding a lot of Muslim owned makeup brands that also made like products for me that like worked for me, I decided to supplement the other products with halal beauty brands. So Muslims refer to anything that is halal as prohibited. So basically makeup that has been tested on animals or contains like animal byproducts in them, such as pork or beef, or depending on who you ask, that also could be alcohol, like some people, want to stay away from alcohol altogether. And some people, if it's on the face, they say it's okay. Um, so there's definitely some gray area with that. Some of these brands that I use in the video are not like halal certified, but they do have halal friendly ingredients. I do want to keep this video super positive and super uplifting for all of the people who are Muslim who are watching this video and just even people in general. I just want to keep the comment section overall positive and just make sure that we're doing things that are uplifting people more than we are tearing our Muslim brothers and sisters down. And please try to keep all politics and personal things aside. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But subscribe first. I'm watching you. So the first product that I have is Halal Friendly and it is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So initially I was like raving about this primer to use with Born This Way, but you guys, it's actually hangover primer that's like that shit. By the way, as I talk throughout this video, I thought I would just shout out some of my favorite Muslim influencers because why not? It took me hours to handpick every single product. And this review may have some mistakes. And for that, I do apologize. I can never do a 100% perfect review. I tried my absolute best to just read about every single ingredient because I wanted to do this right. I'm gonna take the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. As you guys know, they don't test on animals. They have vegan options. And this obviously doesn't contain alcohol. So I discovered this brand called Glossy Makeup owned by Natasha Zaki. First of all, I love the branding of this brand. Brand. It's like soft pink. It almost kind of looks like the hangover primer. Like they could be buddies. They could be distant cousins, at least some. It was actually Muhammad Hindash, who you need to follow him by the way, he told me about this brand. This is her large beauty blender sponge. I'm also gonna be using her brushes too. I'm telling you guys, like we were all struggling. I was messaging Muhammad. I was texting to Bella and we were all, even far Dukai, we were like, I don't really think people realize how many brands aren't owned by Muslims. So it was kind of interesting to, I guess, have that conversation with them and like, you know, open that dialect. I'm not saying that I started it, but I don't know, maybe they just never realized it. So I'm powdering my primer. You guys know the drill. I like to keep it cute and keep it shine free. Look how cute these are. The colors, even the tips are pink, the tips are pink. Look, the tips are pink. No, wait, no, wait, zoom. <gasps> Look how cute that is, it's so cute. That's glossy makeup, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Even though they are based in the UK, I was able to get them shipped here in the US, so I think you guys should check them out. Here's their blender. This was a really popular product, was this sponge here. And the sponge comes in a mini side, so it's got a contoured edge, so you can get under the eye and all that, and it's actually pretty soft. I'm gonna take my Born This Way foundation in the shade Chai and Go for cover, go for, go for cover. Okay, shout out time. While we blend this out, shout out time, shout out time, shout out time, shout out time. I've already mentioned Nabella. She's kind of like everything YouTube didn't know it needed. Another influencer who is always, I mean, she's always looking like a 12 out of 10 on the gram is NM Say on Instagram. She's absolutely gorgeous. Flawless skin, flawless life. Girl, can I borrow your face next weekend? I'll give it back early. That's how I be feeling when I look at her picture sometimes. Y'all saw that big old scar I had to cover on my nose? <sighs> we had a new tenant check in this week. Someone that obviously overstayed 
they're welcome. I'm gonna conceal under eye and highlight the center of my face. Wow. I'm gonna conceal and also highlight the center of my face using the NYX HD Concealer. I use the color, I use the, I don't use the color nutmeg. Wait a minute, do I use the color nutmeg? Maybe I do use the color nutmeg. I guess I use the color nutmeg then. Be careful with me. The first Muslim beauty blogger I ever discovered while living in Kuwait, this was in 2011, was Asya AKF. I love her. I don't know when Asya started following me, but I have been following her since like 2011. Like I was like, who is this girl giving me looks? And I don't think y'all understand how hot it is in Kuwait. So the fact that she pulled it off so effortlessly, I'm like, girl, I give you all the awards. And we got to meet for the first time at the Fenty launch last year. And it was like, literally like running into your long lost twin <laughs> that you never met. I love her. And I think you guys would really enjoy her too. She's a fashion blogger. This is not the greatest shade. It looks great on camera, but in person it's like, Little pink, little neutral, a little neutral pink. Mm, I, I need go. I'm gonna cheat my contour, just so you know. I don't have anything that I can contour with. So I'm just not gonna show on the camera. Just, just ignore this part. Oh, that's not my contour color. The second Muslim influencer I ever discovered, her name, and I may not say this correctly, please forgive me, is Dalal, Dalalid. I don't know if it's Dalalid or Dalalid. She does a little bit more with beauty but she always looks phenomenal. And a lot of her posts are in Arabic, so it's kind of hard to follow along. <laughs> you can still appreciate the art. Having have the same language to appreciate beauty, just saying. I'm gonna use the glossy makeup, actually the foundation brush, but I'm using it to blend out my contour. Why the wig always trying to make a cameo? So let me tell you about my girl, China Tech. I don't remember how I discovered her. I think it was one of her makeup looks and she's Somalian. I believe she's Somalian. I love the looks that she puts together with like her natural, not really natural, but like I think that she's, she knows her face really well. And like every time she puts something on, I'm like, I wanna wear that. She's got great skin. Like she just has a beautiful face for makeup. So far this brush is actually really soft. I'm gonna take the flat side of the sponge. I'm a little worried though, cause sometimes these flat sides don't work out for me. Actually, I'm gonna do my forehead first. Why did Chloe, speaking of Chloe Morello, only Chloe could get away with doing a how to minimize your five head makeup tutorial. I can't wait to watch that video cause I feel like I, myself, I need to implement those tips. I'm actually gonna stick to the rounded side because I like the way that that's blending. Yeah, that's blending way better. And I'll use the flat side for powder, for baking. Not too shabby at all. Glossy makeup. By the way, if you are interested in some resources on how to find halal friendly brands, I found this blog online that was called muslimconsumergroup.com. Another one was Vive, I think it's Vive, vivehalal.wordpress.com. And also for the breakdown of ingredients, like when I was looking up the ingredients of certain things and I didn't know what the heck that long word was, I went to ewg.org slash skin deep and literally there's like over 70,000 words in their database. So like, if you ever have a question about any ingredient, you can look it up and it tells you like what the ingredient means, like what it is um, made of and like the chemical makeup and what it's commonly used as and all that good stuff. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already know about EWG. It's not unknown, it's not new or anything, but yeah, great, great resource. Now I'm gonna set with the flower powder and the flat side of the sponge. Bake up kiddos. <laughs> This powder is just matte perfection. Like what did we do to deserve Beauty Bakery? I'm gonna, I'm gonna set my smile lines. Now this would not be a Muslim appreciation makeup tutorial without any Farsali products. It's just not, it's just not realistic, man. I freaking love the unicorn essence and I just realized I forgot to use it earlier. So you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna put a couple drops of it on the back of my hands and I'm gonna be so extra with it. The Unicorn Essence is basically used like as a serum. I know that Farah sometimes puts it on her eyelids. Farah Dukai that is. If you don't know who she is, she's probably on your Explore page right now. She started off as a beauty YouTuber and then she kind of does more Instagram now and her videos 
are always viral. One thing that I've always loved about Farah is she incorporates a lot of her Indian heritage and her culture into like her skincare and beauty. And she just, she's just always giving us like the DIY homemade approach to things. And I really appreciate that about her. I love her like genuinely as a person. Back before I retired my trends were ditching video series. Remember when I made fun of the whole drip drop makeup tutorials? And I remember texting her literally like, Farah, would you die if I made fun of this trend in the video? Cause she literally kind of put that on the map, but like, how can you not like Farah though? She's so cute. And she was so like supportive of it. She was like, no way, because you never know. Some people, you know, they might smile in your face and then feel some type of way later. And she wasn't like that at all. And like, I genuinely adore her and I actually really do like her products. I use the Rose Gold Elixir a lot at night. This is an actual, like an oil. And you guys have seen this on my channel before, but she started the skincare line. I wanna say like, has it been like through four years now, three, four years? I've always been a supporter ever since it started because they just have like good stuff. It's now sold at Sephora and they're pretty much killing it. I'm going to be putting my personal feelings aside for this next brand because Huda Beauty really is putting Muslim girls on the map. This is the biggest and most recognized Muslim beauty brand. Like, period. 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 Nothing left to say, like, period, 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 period. You guys know how I feel about Huda, the brand, not as a person. I think she's nice as a person, but the brand I feel hasn't done the best at perpetuating positive stereotypes about dark skinned women. Recently, the brand has gotten better until their most recent launch. Recently, she came out with some baking powders that oddly mirror a lot of the verbiage and lingo and branding of Beauty Bakery's powders. I don't know who in your team told you that that was okay. I think there's definitely a difference between like being inspired and like blatantly copying and I don't think it hurts to be like, oh my God, like I live on Mars and I had no idea this beauty brand existed. I'm so sorry. I don't think she's addressed it on her end. And so for that, I think it's not right. And I think it's a poor example of what a brand shouldn't do. That's my thoughts on that. I think that Beauty Bakery is handling this pretty well and I'm always gonna be a supporter of them. Yeah, the Huda thing was just like, Whoa, like I was not ready for that. I saw it and I was just like, oh my freaking video, freaking video. It's like three things I was gonna have to use. Now I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm just like, I don't have time to take them out and replace them, okay? So today I'm gonna be using the Desert Dusk palette. Huda is also, oddly enough, one of the first beauty bloggers that I started following when I lived in Kuwait and her blog was popping. Like that's when blogs were super, super popular. And I really do think that what she's built is admirable for women. Um, in general, and I do actually really like her products. So I'm gonna take the Desert Dusk palette and I'm gonna start with Amber, which is this shade here. It's like a burnt orange shade. So Amber, I'm gonna blend into my crease, my transition shade. I don't know if I would use her products again in my videos, at least anytime soon, but I was willing to kind of make the exception just for this video. It's actually really crazy to see how the dynamics of like, beauty have changed. Like people who buy makeup now, because there's no excuse anymore. There's so many options and people wanna know what's gonna distinguish your brand from everyone else. What do you care about? What are you passionate about? What are you promoting? What are you like, how are you influencing people? And that's important to people. That's important to me. It's just like very interesting to see that whole shift in the beauty world, you know, like people are waking up. Twilight, where's she at the Twilight? She purple and she cute. Twilight came to work early today. This is the Glossy Makeup Small Shader GMU7 brush. I'm gonna take that, oof. Was not ready. That's really pretty, it's actually gorgeous. You guys, we have to talk about Halima though. Halima did the Fenty campaign and she's kind of like taken over the modeling world. Not only is she like a bomb model, uh, I'm switching the blood moon by the way, this one right here. Right, wait, get, focus, focus. Not only does she slay us looks on the runway, but like she's so fun. Like I remember the first time I met her, it was at this Lancome event 
and she just like had this big personality and was like jumping for joy, excited to be there. She's so funny. This is actually a pretty nice shadow brush though. So as you can see, Huda's brand is all desert theme and like not to keep beating a dead horse, but like someone on Twitter said something like desert sand or something that like would have made more sense for her brand. I just don't think it makes sense to go from like all Arabian themed and then all desert themed and then I'm in the kitchen baking. It makes no sense. Make it make sense, Huda. I wanna take Saffron. She kinda cute, she red, she bad. I'm blend that in the outer crease of my eye. Another gorgeous girl on Instagram that I wanted to tell you guys about. Her name is Hodam.YSF. Freaking stunning, man. Freaking, can you just give the rest of us a chance, man? And she just seems so sweet. This eye makeup look is starting to look like somebody's flag. I don't know whose flag yet, but it's looking very flagalacious. I'm gonna pop a bit of the 24 seven glide on pencil from Urban Decay in the color Scorch. Do I wanna go Scorch? No, nah, I wanna go purple, just kidding, I like. I'm gonna take Vice. This is like a shimmery purple, super pretty. <laughs> So much for a soft peach look. I don't know, I just, who cares, man? I don't even have nowhere to go. Sometimes you just let the makeup take you, girl. And then I'm taking saffron and putting that on my bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna take oud, which is the dark brown matte, and put it on top of saffron. Now I'm adding some mascara before we throw on our falsies. So today I'm gonna to be wearing the So Extra, what's it called? So Extra Mykonos. That's not the lash I want. So I'm gonna wear the Miami Lash from Lily Lashes. These are Lily Galici's brand. You all know and love her. And another brand that I really, really love that you guys also see a lot on Instagram is Iris Beauty. It's spelled Iris like. EYE, you see, what they, you see what they did there? That's really catchy, man. This brand was started by Wake Up and Makeup. They started as like a shout out page and they were just giving the girls the looks and like reposting everyone's pictures and videos. I just wanted to shout them out because I really like their page. Wake Up and Makeup was actually like one of the biggest shout out pages that I noticed at the time that was actually like posting dark skinned women, like, but not in a parody or joking way. So I've always loved that. In the meantime, I'm gonna sweep off the rest of the excess powder on my face using the Glossy Makeup Blush Brush. It's kind of small, but I think it'll do. This is personally too small for me for blush. Maybe they just mean like cheek and highlight. I don't know. So I just found this out for myself, but Coco Becky on Instagram is Muslim. She's a fashion designer and she was the girl that made, remember when I first debuted the first Chocolate Daddy Bay pictures on Instagram, the racy ones that had all the girls talking and snitching. Coco Becky made that dress. Everywhere she goes, she's wearing something that she made. Like, I don't think I've ever seen her in no Top Shop or H&M. She very well may shop at those places, I don't know. And she is based in Canada, so. Here's the lash, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna yell. Lash. Before your youngin's time, that's all that is. I'll just leave it at that. Another Fresh Ollie product I'm gonna feature in today's look are their Jelly Beam Highlighters. Oh, I just realized this is called Rose Goals. That's cute. I don't wanna bring it too close to the camera and end up with it all over my carpet, but it's basically like, uh, focus, dang it. It's basically like highlighter in a jelly form. It's just like, really weird. I find that the best way to apply this is with the fingers, so I'm just gonna go for it, dude. You gotta blend quick, 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 quick. Cause she dries down, she dries down, girl. Start off with a little bit and then like work your way up. That's really pretty, wow. That is stunning, I love that. I'm gonna take the Glossy Makeup Large Eye Blender and just shade a bit of this into my brow bone. I got carried away. I got carried away real quick. It's cool, we gonna blend you, we gonna blend you so you can run and tell that. I'm gonna blend that up into my temples. And of course, this wouldn't be a Jack Anna look without a Jack Anna signature inner corner highlight. To finish off the look, we're going to use a Halal Friendly Too Faced Melted I Love Love, love these. These are the Melted Chocolate Liquefied Liquid Lipsticks. They're not really like a liquid lipstick in a matte sense. These are like, they stay glossy and they stay wet. The shade that I'm using is Chocolate Milkshake. I'm contouring my lip with a ColourPop K liner. Hey, how's it going? 
Hi, how you doing? You single? Yeah. No, I'm not, bye. Cute! All right, I gotta go wash my hands. I wanna finish off this look by showing you guys a place where I got some really beautiful and fun hijabs from. Pearl Daisy. Pearl Daisy, isn't that the cutest name? Pearl Daisy. So Pearl Daisy is owned by Amina. She is a YouTuber, a gorgeous one at that. I love how she fearlessly rocks her faith. Let me tell you something. She had this little nude series and girl, you know when I see blush pink, you know I gag for blush pink. You know, you just, just so we're clear, we all know the blush pink is my favorite color, right? This one is my favorite. I didn't really know what look I was gonna do for this video, so I bought like a couple of them because I just really wanted to support her business. This is a gray one, a stunning mop, a look for the gram. This mermaid color though, how pretty does this actually look with the pink? Emerald green if for your darker looks. And then I also picked up a gorgeous caramel one. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's coming a bit later. So a little bit later than Eid. I knew that I really wanted to make this special and I wanted to do this right. And I, you know, some of these things came from the UK. This is a video that I think that you guys can appreciate even when it's not Eid, or at least I hope so. I just can't get over how beautiful this color is. It looks gorgeous. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be waiting. You still got about, about 10 more seconds. 10 more, 10 more seconds we gonna let it slide. After 10 seconds, I'm not letting it slide no more. While you're here though, I mean, you might as well. <laughs> Grab some coleslaw and watch the next video. I don't know, coleslaw, chicken strips. Grab something, grab something, and while you're at it, take your edges with you because you're gonna need them.